Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an operating system that is pretty cool running on the Raspberry Pi 4. And so you might be wondering what this is. Or So this is called Ubuntu Unity, which you might have heard of before. And this has been available for x86, x64 computers, so normal PCs. But it has never been available for the Pi. And I, I saw this. Um, it just caught my attention the other day, and so it's Ubuntu Unity for the Raspberry Pi Alpha 1, so it is in beta, and it has a lot of information about what it is here. It runs on the Raspberry Pi 4, 3B+, and 3B. It's a 64-bit operating system, and it has the features of 20.10, but it's still based on 20.041. And right here, what it says is, it has an i386 ARM. ISO is included, so you can run 32-bit programs on your Raspberry Pi from the terminal. So to set this up, they have a little script right here that they have. And you're supposed to put this in the terminal, and I did that, and it installed. But I couldn't get that working, so there might be some bug with that, because this is an alpha. But if you do get it working, you can let me know down below. And then it tells you what Raspberry Pis it works for and how to install it. And this installation, there is a few tricks you need to do for this. So I'll be having an installation tutorial coming out soon so you guys can install this. And yeah, this is actually per I never I didn't know how great this operating system was or how cool it looks. This is the gallery of the pictures on here. And yeah, it just looks great. So what's cool is we, our X out buttons are on the left like Mac OS on this operating system and it like hides it up here. And then what we have here is a nice background picture with all of the different distros logos. And then it, it kind of looks like GNOME but it's not exactly like that. We don't have that app launcher on the bottom here. We have this app, we have this thing right here. You click on that and it opens up this all these app launchers so if I wanted to you can search for an, any app that you have on here if I just search for files files opens up and I can click on it and it opens it up and this is what the file manager looks like which is pretty cool and it has like the global menu like Mac OS does so if you hover over files you see the file edit view so you do have all of those, which is actually a great addition. That I love having these on the bar up here. It just makes it cooler, in my opinion. And you can make it bigger, make it smaller, and close it from there. So let's go over some of the features right now. So this is the default background picture. And you can change the desktop background by um, right-clicking. And let's just take a look at this picture. In my opinion, it looks really cool. It looks better and there's some nice theming going on here these apps icons look really sick in my opinion we have the Firefox so and I'll show you guys some web browsing in a minute to show you how you that performs keep it in keep this in mind this is in beta so you definitely do fe feel some bugs but it's going in the right direction in my opinion then we have LibreOffice writer which of course comes stock on Ubuntu always And here we are so we can just skip all of these tips and it's totally functional you can definitely use this yeah so there's not really much to that I'm just gonna close that I don't want to save it and then we have that um, LibreOffice calculator calc I mean impress and we have a software store and the software store is using snap store so you can install all the snaps from here if I went in chromium I could just search for chromium and it should come up right here chromium web browser let's see if it installs you have to type in your password that you create when you install let's see if it installs I'll just leave that going in the background while I continue to show you guys some more stuff so like I said it comes with this text document to install the i386 um, environment on your Raspberry Pi I ins tried installing this and I couldn't get it working but it is still in beta they might be fixing this in the later releases I don't know so 
and then what we have down here, like that was just a glitch. We have a trash can, so the trash can is on the bottom right here, which kind of looks cool in my opinion. It's a cool addition. And then we have system settings. And we have all our settings lined up like this, which actually is pretty cool. Kind of like a Mac OS type. It is pretty glitchy over there right now. That is kind of a problem. But we have all the settings here. And let's go to some web browsing and see how that works. I do want to say, even though this is a beta, I'm surprised on how well it's performing and it's just super responsive. I, w I was expecting this to not be that gray, actually. It was just a thought. But it's way better than I did, did expect. So that's a pretty good plus for me. Okay, here's Amazon. And if we just scroll down, it's looking pretty nice and responsive. If we click on Computer and Accessories... It loads up, and we just click on this tablet. Look at that. It's pretty nice. I can click on it. Click on a different picture if it loads up. But it's just like this because of my internet, not because of the web browser. Yeah, so it's pretty good. And a cool thing, like I said, if I made this this size, and you can just see your X out buttons. But if it's like this, you can't see your X out buttons. You might be like, why can't I do that? You just have to hover over Mozilla Firefox, and you'll be able to see it. So if we go into some YouTube performance, let's hit open YouTube. And test out some video playback. So let's just search for this video. And here it is. Let's just hit on it. So Chromium is now installed. It says it's installed. That's pretty good. I'll launch it in a minute. Let's first out test out Firefox YouTube. And then that was pretty nice. It didn't like freeze when you try to hit it full screen like some browsers do that on the Raspberry Pi. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good YouTube performance for the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm surprised. I'm impressed, definitely impressed, and glad that it's this well. This is a huge plus for this operating system. Definitely, definitely. There we are. YouTube is so pretty good, in my opinion. You can scroll, see everything well. Look at that. It all loads up nice and quick. I want to close them, yes. One thing I do want to mention, I'm running this at stock clock. I have not overclocked or done anything like that. So this is performance is all like that. So here we are, if I just search for Chromium. Let's see how, it, how the App Store works. I mean, if it does work properly. Just waiting for it to launch and there we are it launched and chromium has all the file edit view all of those tools work which is a pretty cool plus in my opinion it's kind of glitching right there that's a little bit annoying but i'm hoping that in the future releases all of these bugs will be fixed and it'll just be a great operating system to be usable on your raspberry pi 4 Here we are, Chromium works well too, and I install it through this software center right here.
yeah, really nice, really nice. Chromium is amazing on here too, that's just another plus. And to just show you guys all of the software available here, let me do that and then, yeah. So we have Chromium, we have, oh, right here if I click on Home, we'll be able to see all of them. This is recently recently used and then if I click on Installed, we, we'll be able to see all of them. We have some Driver, Network, Appearance, Calculator, Settings, Firefox, some Package Installer, LibreOffice, then we have their Terminal of course. We have mouse and touchpad. We have some buttons right there to reboot. We have all our users and stuff. We have video. Transmission is a thing that comes on Ubuntu and it's a torrent downloader. So if we, if you ever need to download tor um, torrent, you can just use that. And then if I hit Control Alt T, I'll have a terminal open up. And if I type nail fetch, oh, it's not installed. Let me install it real fast. sudo apt install nail fetch and type in my password and hit enter yes I want to install this this is normal Ubuntu so you can install any Ubuntu software that you can on normal Ubuntu is installable on this version too so you don't have to worry about software or anything because it will work so let me just clear everything then do a no fetch. So we have our nice Ubuntu logo here. We have it's Ubuntu 20.04 Arch 64, which means it's 64 bit. We have our Raspberry Pi 4, that's our kernel. And we have what packages we're running. And we have it is Unity, it is Compiz. Yeah. This is really nice. A huge development for the Pi and I can't wait to see what the future of this holds for this amazing operating system. So, like I said, there will be an installation tutorial coming out soon. So, don't if you don't want to miss them out, please subscribe. And if this video was helpful for you guys, please hit that like button. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe.